Check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, we're gonna do a tour. We're gonna get to it in a second. I'm just gonna mention, starting off, Sure sent me a new microphone. It's a vlogging style. It's not a new model, but it's new to me. It's an upgrade to uh, the existing one I had. It's a VP83F. I've got it mounted, I've got it all set up. It's really easy to set up. It's like a plug and play, basically. So let's get on with uh, the tour of my uh, stuff and things that I got here. All right. I've made this video three times now, and I, I forgot to hit record all three times. No, I'm just kidding. I, I hit, I made this video once, and I forgot to hit record. This is a tour of my studio, and we're gonna start out in this little room outside here. I'm gonna show you that. This video is mainly about testing the sound from the Shure VP83, and they sent me that, so I guess you could consider them the sponsor of this video, and uh, thanks to Shure. So, it's a Shure thing when your audio is good. So we're just gonna go out here for a second. So this is a little area out here. I've got a workbench set up. Uh, this is where I do guitar repair stuff. You can probably hear the sound, how it changed going in and out of the room. Um, just uh, like a workbench from Canadian Tire, you can raise and lower it. And right now I'm working on a, a Vox amp video. It's just a nice workspace to have. I do repairs as well so when I'm fixing a guitar or troubleshooting something. Just a simple setup. We've got a couple bars going across with lights. And uh, yeah, and we got all my tools and supplies and stuff. So let's head inside. The actual thing I want to show you in my studio, which is a room inside a room. So you notice I'm closing one door and a double door, just like from Harry Potter, du double door. I don't know. Okay, let's start with, let's start with amps. I've got a, a few amps in here. And just to give you a, uh, an idea how big this room is. It's eight feet by 12 feet. So it's pretty small. It's fine for me. Having a second person in here would get a little bit crowded. It's full, like I'm pretty packed in here. So let's start with uh, what we got in the corner over here. Well, I guess we can look over here. I'm using this big arm thing. So it looks like I have a camera person, but I don't. We're not, we're not that fancy yet. Okay, um, hope it doesn't fall off. That'd be, that'd be cool, not. Ikea shelf. Usually something you'd see in a Ikea, <laughs> when you go to Ikea, no. It's not made for amps, it's, uh, but I, I saw it and I'm like, that's really perfect. Actually, you know what, I stole the idea from Rev. Last summer I saw them using these at their booth at Sweetwater. I'm like, that's a really good idea. So copy that. And interestingly enough, it's mainly full of Rev amps now. So anyways, top here we got a Supro amulet. We'll just go through the gear and talk about it. I uh, got a Rev G50 with a matching head, uh, matching head, matching cab. And then, uh, let's sit down for a second. Oh my God. That's, I've done this like three times and I'm exhausted. Uh, D25. And these are custom colors that I picked. You can get um, almost any color. It's cool. It's a really cool thing that Rev does. Uh, Princeton amp. Uh, AC15 with the blue Alnico. And then coming over here, we've got this cool workstation and uh, PRS, I don't know if that's showing up, PRS HDR 20X or X20. I'm not really great with model names and numbers because sometimes they just don't mean anything. That's my amps. Uh, no, I lied. I got a couple more in the back. There's this little back like crawl space, not a crawl space, just like a little cupboard. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a little space back there. I've got a couple more amps. I've got a Fender Deluxe 85 and a Monoprice amp. So that's my amp collection. Um, pretty good collection. I'm really happy with this stuff I got. Oh, there's also, it's down there. You can't really see it. It's called, uh, I gotta turn the lights up here more. Uh, a Bose S1 Pro. It's a PA amp, basically. It's under the chair. It's really good for um, practicing. It's like a practice thing. Okay. That's my amp stuff. I'm just kind of mumbling here. But really the point of this is to test the, uh, the microphone. You let me know in the comments, how's it sounding? Because the first time I set it up, I was peaking. I had to adjust the level. One, two, check one, two. Second time I did the video, I forgot to hit record on the camera. So this is third time, third time's a charm. And now I, I know everything I have so well because I've already said it to myself three times. So let's go over to guitars. Oh, we'll start with this one here. This is um, Fender Custom Shop GT11. 
and uh, it's the first guitar I see when I walk in the room. Usually the first one I grab or trip over. Okay, do I need to adjust the lights? I think we're okay. Um, other end of the spectrum, price-wise, anyways, we've got a Epiphone Firebird. Really cool. It's very unique. Never tried one before. I dig it. It's pretty cool. I'm having fun with it. Okay, I'll go over to the corner here. Got a Jazzmaster parts caster that I built last year. And uh, just try to hold it like this and grab each guitar. So you can see them here. This is a Mexican Tele with lace sensor pickups. My first electric guitar I modded. Um, I will mention everything you're going to see here. Uh, done full videos. Definitely. I'm trying to think if there's anything I haven't done a full video on. So my job later is to, in the description, I'll link videos, all the videos. If you want to see the guitars, because I'm probably screwing up names. I'm not good at memory work. This is, um, an Ibanez Prestige AZ something. Ibanez, um, I've learned how they make the names for their, uh, their instruments. They go like this. They're like, we need a new guitar. Okay. There you go. Got the name done. Okay. This is a uh, Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s. The crazy burst. It's mixed. People, some people don't like that burst. I love it. Okay. Um, and then I got a 79 Strat. Birth year guitar. Some people are like, you aren't born in 79. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Is that an insult or a compliment? Could be either way. This thing's awesome. Videos on that for sure. Like I'm saying, I know I've done videos on it. Just make sure I'm putting everything back and not breaking stuff. Okay, coming along here, we got a, my one bass guitar. It's a Fender Mustang Vintera 2 Competition Burgundy, just like Ron Burgundy. Uh, let's go back over this way. Then we got a, uh, oh, that's bright. Whatever. C24 Blue. Right? You notice there's a, most of my guitars are blue. It's because there's actually a story to that. Um, when I was younger, I was a kid. Now I'm older and uh, I like blue. I don't know. That's it. That's my story. <laughs> this is, uh, this not, it wasn't going to be some deep story. There's no reason. I just like blue. Uh, Les Paul Special. Gibson Les Paul Special. Okay. And I got a Heritage uh, H535. That's a tricky one because your brain wants you to say 335, right? Gibson, but it's not. And I got a Fender American Ultra Tele. Also blue. Is that? That's it. That's the guitars. Uh, pedals. Go down here. I've got a, a plethora of pedals. I'm not a huge pedal guy, but I've got the pedals that I need. Uh, you go left to right. Got like a Shure wireless system. Uh, get out of the way. Digitech Whammy 5. So you can do some crazy octave stuff and some bending and octave things and stuff. You can tell I know what I'm talking about. Uh, Tube Screamer Mini Boss SD1. I'm going to look in that thing. Joyo, Sweet Baby Overdrive. Uh, Shredmaster, Marshall. Chatbreaker from Rev. Boss Mini Chorus. Uh, not Boss, Ibanez. Uh, MXR Phase 95. I got this crazy, uh, it's called a Dispatch Master Reverb Delay Pedal. And then everything's going into a loop station, RC1. That's from Boss, just a simple loop pedal. Uh, radial ABY. And then two power supplies. Voodoo. Let's try to get this. Voodoo Lab Pedal Power 2 Plus. It's too many words in that thing. And those are all going out to, well, one line's going out to d25 right now and one's going out to the g50 so that's my stuff here also got a lego lego guitar and an amp princeton amp up there okay so that's that stuff let's talk about my system so this little corner here ooh, don't fall down this corner is uh my computer which is a mac let's get a little bit of lighting here a mac studio max and uh, I edit all my stuff in Final Cut Pro. Most of the audio I will do in GarageBand, sometimes in Logic. Uh, GarageBand is just a lot simpler for basic stuff like recording guitar. So I'll do that. I'll bring um, 
either direct out, you know, XLR or mic it into this Arturia 16 rig. I gotta take a second here for a drink. I told you I've done this three times. I'm exhausted. The main thing is holding this camera with my arm. Let's get a workout. Okay. Whew, where was I? All right. I'm gonna pretend I'm not out of breath. 16 rig from Arturia, and I've got a Scarlett 18i8. I alternate between the two depending how many inputs I need or what I'm doing. Um, I've got uh, my studio monitors are these Mackie. Forget the name. Almost as bad as uh, Ibanez's name. MK6R34971. I'm going to put the name right here. It's going to be right there. You're going to know it. You're going to love it. Okay, two monitors, really great monitors, and a sub underneath. I don't want to show down there because the uh, my cable management is just awful right now, so I'm not going to show that. Um, okay, what else we got? A couple computer monitors. That's how I do my stuff here, my editing. It's great to have two displays when you're using a computer. Makes it good. Oh, a couple Arturia devices here. We got a drum brute, drum machine, and... Uh, uh, Micro Freak synth and everything on this table here. This is just like a cheap corner L shaped table. But the coolest stuff on here is these Gator, they're called Creator ID Tree. Creator Tree IDs. I told you I suck at names. Gator arms, they got like legs and things, so you can go like, hey, look at that. Just out of nowhere, I got my Shure SM7B mic that I use for all my voiceovers and all that stuff. A uh, couple lights here, and then if you notice there's no echo, echo! It's because of these panels all over the wall. Ceiling, whoa, lost my mic. Did I not mount that properly? Here we go, let's get that in there. I'm keeping this in. So this is my first time using the mic, so you have to like fasten the thing, otherwise it falls out. We're all good, nothing happened. Um, panels right they just stop the reverb in the room they're not for soundproofing which is a mistake that a lot of people uh, make when they watch some of my videos look at that cool lighting there just leave it like this um yeah so uh that's my room there's nothing crazy or amazing if you have any questions uh leave a comment i'm happy to answer i'm happy to share everything i've learned i've a lot of trial and error getting this stuff going uh oh shoot why is that there we go um, learning cameras, learned it all on my own, uh, with help from friends, of course, but, uh, I'm not a camera guy, so, oh, I didn't mention the cameras, ZVE-10, I've got two, mounted here, and one over there, and, uh, Tamron, and Sigma lenses, and a bunch of camera things, stuff like that, and, um, just kind of mumbling on right now, but the point of this video was to check out the Shure VP83F, leave me some feedback in the comments, how was it? Uh, I'm sure when I get closer to it, no pun intended, it might be peaking, but, you know, um, I really enjoyed using the VP83, the previous model, the non-F. Uh, this one has some features that are above and beyond that. I'm looking forward to making this my new go-to vlogging mic for any kind of videos where I'm doing this thing, where I'm doing this arm workout by holding this rod, and uh, this is harder than it looks. That's what she said. Oh. It's really gross. Okay, uh, we're going to end it here because no, I'm being stupid. Yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, anything, any advice, I'm open to, I love hearing people recommending uh, how to do something better. You know, I'm always trying to get my workflow better. And uh, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Did I hit record?